Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will be looking at data dictionary. So our last tutorial we looked at pseudocode and this data dictionary will be the one relating to the pseudocode that we did previously. So if you did not watch that tutorial, please click on the link at the top right hand corner because the variables and constants that we used in the previous um, tutorial for that pseudocode is the same ones that we will be using for this data dictionary. So what is actually a data dictionary? What is, a, what is a data dictionary? A data dictionary is typically facts and statistics collected together for reference or an analysis. All right, so we, we, let us use it for reference. So when you have a pseudocode, for example, this pseudocode, right? And you see names such as reg fee or subject fee, practical fee, and oral fee, and the different variable names, subjects, practicals, f name, m name, and you you see these things and you're asking yourself, what exactly are these? You want to know, and it's for it's for important documentation, so that if you write a source code, for example, and say you're working for a company, you, you write a source code. And you actually left the job all right and they employ another programmer when that programmer looks at what the other word that you have done before they should be able to understand what exactly those variable names or constant names are because of the data dictionary that you would have created so all these variable names and constant names and different names that are used within the, 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 the program, right? The data dictionary is there to let other persons looking at your documentation to know exactly what they are. So let us go back down to the data dictionary. So this is an example of a data dictionary relating to the pseudocode which I just showed you. So choice. So if you look here, all right, let me find it. You will see choice here. You will see choice here right here let me scroll down let me see if my eyes can pick them up really quick uh, you have it here if choice all right there and that mean one is here and you have another one here and here so you see choice i wonder what choice is Instead of speculating what it is or trying to guess what it is, you look at your data dictionary. And it says choice. Um, that's the identifier's name. And the type of the type is a variable, right? And the data type for it is integer. And it gives you a description. This is used to indicate which menu choice was selected. All right? Let's just look at count. All right? And you will find count here. You will find count. Let me see here. You will find count here, 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 and here. And other places as well as you go further along. Here as well, here as well, and so forth. And you want to say, what is count? You scratching your head thinking, what is count? What does this program mean? This programmer means when he placed count there. So instead of speculating and wondering exactly what it is, you head to your data dictionary, right? And it will tell you that the identifier name, yes, is count. The identifier type is a variable, and the data type for that identifier is an integer. All right, and then there's a description there. This is used to indicate which array address is being used. All right, so let us look at some others. You have F name, L name, M name. And you're saying to yourself, what does F name mean? Does it mean Ferdinand name? Does it mean, you know, Francois name? Does it mean Francie name? Right? What does it mean? Front name, right? You know, so you, you, you're wondering what that F stands for, right? And how does it relate to name? And as, because you'll be scrolling through the pseudocode and you will be seeing, um, right here, F name, M name, L name. 
and you're puzzled to wonder what is this here so you head to your data dictionary and it lets you know that that's the identifier's name the identifier type is a variable and the data type for it is string and that is the same thing for l name um and m name and there's a description there to give you a better understanding of what it is so this array that stores the first name of the student so you say oh so that f stands for first right and the l stands for last as in the description here and m stands for middle as the description here then you have oral fee yes, oral fee what that mean does that mean that is the fee that I'm going to pay when I go to the dentist right so you're wondering what does this oral fee stands for right because you will first thing you will see oral fee right here and you're wondering oral fee to 1000 scratching your head wondering what it is then you head to the data dictionary and you will realize that the identifier type is a constant and the data type for it is real and the description tells you that stores the cost of each oral all right so that is typically what a data dictionary is all about all right it gives you right a detailed analysis or reference of what exactly the different variable constant names or the identifier names used within the program, what they are used for, their data type, and the type of identifier that they are. So that is the purpose of a data dictionary. All right. I hope you understand what a data dictionary is, what's the purpose of it, and how important it is that documentation such as these should be used when you are writing a program. Please have a wonderful day and enjoy it.